A story you heard first on 13 News Now, Norfolk could soon get a new police chief. After nearly a year, the search for the next top cop is finally down to three finalists. We have team coverage tonight. Dan Kennedy explains what we know about the finalists. But we start with Angelique Arentog. She sat down with Norfolk City Manager about this stage of the search. Norfolk City Manager Dr. Chip Feiler says it took time to whittle down the list of candidates from 40 to 10 and now to the final three. He wouldn't say whether any are local, but he does say every one of the top three are currently employed, barring him from releasing their names. Candidate A is a sitting police chief and was also one before. Candidates B and C are both in extremely high level administrative positions within their departments. I really think I think all three have a strong foundation in what it takes to effectively police a city because they've been in various divisions of these departments. The selected police chief will have to tackle challenges like recruitment and retention in a department down by 200 or so officers. I need a police chief that recognizes the importance internally of running the department as well as understands the external components that a modern day police police chief has to embrace and has to be very good at. With one more round of interviews to go, Filer envisions making a decision in early April. In Norfolk, Angelique Aaron Talk, 13 News Now. All right, Angelique, thank you. And Dan Kennedy filed open records requests to find out more about the three finalists up for the job. Tonight, he picks up our team coverage with how the candidates hope to make the city safer. We wanted to know more about each finalist, including their experience, priorities, and ideas, so we requested and obtained copies of the questionnaires they recently filled out. Now, the city redacted the names of the finalists, but I was still able to gather some key takeaways for each candidate. For example, we know candidate one has 35 years of policing experience. They've been a chief in two different cities, and they wrote about the importance of a diverse police force. They even recommended holding a police academy at a local HBCU, saying, quote, this is a great opportunity to make Make law enforcement part of a college curriculum and enroll candidates just as the military. Now, candidate two has 20 years of policing experience. They said they would take the police recruiting to where there could be untapped demographics of potential candidates. They mentioned places like beauty and nail salons and fitness and community centers. And then there's candidate three with 35 years of policing experience in the southeast. They say they would look to data to focus on quality arrests, not quantity. They wrote that focusing on sheer arrests only impairs police and community relationships. The city manager hopes to make their pick by a little later this spring, we're told. The last two chiefs were promoted internally. The prior two came from outside Hampton Roads. I asked, but a city spokesperson would not confirm if any of these three finalists are current employees of the Norfolk Police Department. Dan Kennedy, 13 News Now. The city is accepting public comment for the next two weeks regarding the police chief search. You can do that by clicking on this web story on our website and our app. We've also posted Dan's three key takeaways for each candidate and the full questionnaires.